G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman here for 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're continuing our look at the structure of the endometrium during the three phases of the menstrual cycle. In this video, we're going to be looking at the structure of the endometrium during the secretory phase, the third of the three phases of the menstrual cycle. So let's start our three minutes. So you remember the uterus is divided into three layers, the outer, uh, sorry, the innermost endometrium, then the middle myometrium and the outer perimetrium. Now the endometrium is further subdivided into an outer functional layer known as the stratum functionalis or just the functional layer and the stratum basalis or the basal layer. And that's typically much more basophilic. You've got much more compacted stromal cells there. Um, what happens is during um, the normal 28 day menstrual cycle, we know um, the first five days is menstruation or menses. Then from day five to day 14 is the proliferative phase where the endometrium is regrowing, the stratum functionalis is regrowing from the stratum basalis after shedding during menstruation. And then day uh, 14 to day 28 is basically getting the endometrium ready for implantation, ready to allow to receive that blastocyst so it can implant, it can provide a blood supply for the fetal maternal circulation and also provide nutrition for that implanting embryo. So what happens is we get this quite dramatic change in structure to the endometrium. The first big appearance are the structure of the endometrial glands. You can see how wide the lumen is and and that the glands have taken on a very sawtooth type of appearance or a corkscrew type of appearance. Uh, very wide lumen and there appears to be material inside that lumen. So things like glycogen are produced and released into the uh, lumen of these glands. Now, very typical of a section of the endometrium uh, during the secretory phase. So we've still got our nice surface epithelium, simple ciliated columnar epithelium. Uh, we've got these big wide glands, um, very uh, irregular in appearance, almost like, a, as I say, a sawtooth appearance. And then we've got evidence of these spiral arterioles. Now remembering these are growing out of the straight arterioles which exist within the stratum basalis. And these are actually going to provide uh, the maternal part of the uh, circulation to the fetus um, should implantation take place. It's also these vessels which undergo the constriction should no fertilization take place and the corpus luteum degenerates and that then leads to menstruation taking place. So again, we've got a less compacted stroma, uh, very cellular stroma, but less compacted in the stratum functionalis compared to the stratum basalis. You can see how densely uh, compacted that stromal tissue is, but you can see the glands extend right down into the basal layer such that should menstruation take place, the base of these glands actually form the new epithelial lining and the base of the glands that regrow during the proliferative phase. So as I say, what happens during the secretory phase is it's preparing for implantation without fertilization. There's no hormone to maintain the corpus luteum from the embryo and therefore uh, these blood vessels, these spiral arterioles, arterioles undergo constriction and this stratum functionalis or the functional layer is shed at um, menstruation. So there's our timer. Hopefully you found that useful. I'll see you in the next video.